Hey guys, what's going on? It's August 8th, Topps National Baseball Card Day. You can go to hobby shops, uh, I believe maybe even Target and Walmart, and I think you might get some free packs, uh, something like that I saw online on Twitter. Uh, this, however, is one that I've had for a while, uh, for a couple of weeks now. Haven't gotten around to opening uh, much boxes anymore, uh, just because of scheduling and some other uh, factors, but figure today is, if anything, the best day to open it, you know, to help celebrate. Uh, this, like I said, I got from Target. Uh, I think it was Target. I'm almost certain it was Target. Um, and you get two autographs per box. I guess they call this like a retail hobby box uh, because you get autographs. Uh, I think it was probably around maybe $50, $60. Uh, usually the blaster boxes are 20 uh, You're not guaranteed anything, but with these retail hobby boxes you do uh, get uh, two guaranteed autograph on average uh, because sometimes uh, it might be more or less than than two so I did open uh, a newer baseball recently uh, and I did really 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 well I got two autographs in a blaster box uh, I'll link that because I totally forgot which uh, box it was that I opened uh, but like I said, uh, aside from all that, it's 2019 Tops Gallery. You're getting two autographs, uh, 20 packs, and then five cards per pack. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I'll try and speed it up. And in the past, I've... Uh... Oh, you get a box loader. Gallery. One gallery box loader. Original painting. And this is probably my second favorite. Uh, Tops Fire, obviously, being my favorite. And a lot of. Oops, I just totally dropped the box. Um, everyone's favorite. This is my second favorite. And then. Uh, Allen and Ganther, I believe it's called. Gypsy Queen's another one that I like. Uh, so I don't really know where to start. I just like mixing it up and wherever the autographs fall, I guess. Uh, you know. And be easy on me with the names because, uh, you know, obviously some of these names are going to be tricky to pronounce. I watched a lot of baseball when I was younger. Uh, here's a rookie card. Brendan Rodgers. Freddie Freeman, and these are all hand-drawn, sketched, airbrushed. It's freaking amazing how people can uh, have so much talent. Uh, Otani, and you're going to be a, a better, more knowledgeable than I am on some of these, uh, or a lot of these names. So, uh, like I said, let me know if I hit anything big. Uh, first one, Daniel Ponce. De, De Leon, which uh, I knew I was going to get the autograph on the first pack. No matter how I shuffle that, I just had a feeling I was going to get the, the autograph on the first pack. Um, he's a rookie. And drafted by the Cardinals. Does it say number nine? Drafted Card Cardinals number nine. I guess number nine overall, or the ninth pick. No, the draft doesn't go that long for baseball, does it? Nine rounds. Um, but anyways, that's the first autograph. I'll try and put it over there. And David Fletcher. Should be an interesting video if I hit the autograph. Or it could be, like I said, it's two on average. You could get more than that. Uh, it has happened. So, Kyle Freeland. Elvis Luciano rookie card. I should probably be separating some of these rookie cards, shouldn't I? Um, again, remind people these are all like sketched and airbrushed and they look amazing. Kevin Newman. Mark McGuire. That would be an autograph I would definitely want. Uh, it was one of the times uh, I was watching baseball religiously every, every day. Fantasy baseball and everything that I used to do. Uh, I enjoy Votto. And that rookie card was Kevin Newman. Uh, let's pack three. Miguel 
and the R. Dennis Santana, rookie card. Salvador Perez. And an insert uh, catcher from the Adelaide Molino. Molina, sorry. And that is called Heritage. Insert. I'll try and separate these a little bit. And JD Hammer, it looks like. Interesting photo. Or sketch, I should say. Uh, I'm trying to keep these a little bit organized. George Springer, Brian Reynolds, rookie. I'm going to speed it up. Luke Voigt. And a really nice, uh, another insert, Master and Apprentice. Padres, it looks like. Manny Machado, Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice insert. Brad Keller, rookie card. Oh gosh, there's a lot of cards. I really need to speed it up. <laughs> I really, really need to speed it up. Mitch Hanager, Brandon Lowe, rookie card. David Peralta. It's almost like a, not really an insert, but a parallel. Masterpiece, Rod Carew. And w Willens Osta Ostillo, number one card, rookie card. Um, of course, I figured I messed up my. Well, I guess I really didn't. Um, I just put a parallel with the rookie cards, and that confused me a little bit. As you can tell, this might take quite a long ways. Raphael Devers. Mitch Keller rookie card. Wilson Contreras parallel. Another parallel, Ozzy Albiaz. Private issue. Oh, and that one's numbered. 161 of 250. Um, I guess at the end I'll, I'll go back and, and double check the backs of these. Um, that one I'll put over here with the autograph. And uh, maybe I'll skim through these real quick. I don't think I missed anything. And the last one there is Rowdy Tella's rookie card. Ronald Acuna Jr., Max Scherzer, y Yule Darnish, Darvish, Hall of Fame, Sandy Koufax, insert, rookie Chance Adams for the Yankees. I love listening to local Yankees banter on uh, the radio. It's uh, pretty funny. I know they were saying something about him before. Michael Chavez, rookie card. Jake Bowers, rookie card. Austin Riley, green parallel rookie card. 47 of 99 by the Braves. That used to be my team back in the 90s, early 2000s and so. Uh, so that's a good one to get. And I'm just kind of like making a mess. Corey Seager. Blake Snell. Oh man, there's a lot of cards here. I probably should have did this maybe two parts, but oh well. Bryce Harper. Kyle Tucker rookie card. Kristen, Kristen Stewart, really? Ha, huh, that's interesting. How is his name Kristen Stewart? That's interesting. I know it's spelled differently, obviously. Uh, rookie card. Lane Thomas. 
Ooh, this is cool. Featured artists, Dan Bergen, Carlos Caballero, and Louis Draper. Are these the ones who actually sketched these? I'll have to check them out on, uh, on Twitter and Instagram. Kyle Wright, rookie card. I did Bryce Harper, right, just in case. Um, still got a little bit more than half left to open. Trevor Story, Ryan Helsley, rookie card, Mookie Betts. Oh, and here's the second autograph. Oh, wow, that's pretty awesome. That's exactly the one that I wanted because I knew his, I didn't know his dad, but I, I was familiar with his father, I believe. Fernando Tatis played for the Cardinals, I believe. Maybe with Mark McGuire, if I can remember correctly. I know he was on my fantasy team. Uh, so this is obviously a really good one to get. Uh, I'll have to check out his stats. Don't hate me when I say that because people are like, how do you collect and don't know much about them. I just, uh, times have changed and I really haven't had enough time to follow as much as I used to. So that's a really good one. So an awesome box. Maybe there'll be more. Uh, and Dan, Danny Jansen rookie card. Maybe it's a hot box. Maybe I get some, what do you call it? Um... Some more numbered cards. Was that numbered? Let me just see real quick. It wasn't numbered too, funny enough. You think it would be like a, a valuable short print. Uh, Biggio, Kevin Biggio. Funny, like, these names, you can tell they, they, they had fathers that played uh, like 10, 20 years ago. Chris Bryant, Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. Let's see what it says. Um, so, I mean, he wasn't drafted. That's kind of odd. White Sox as a free agent required trade. Um, hmm. I'll have to still see what he's up to. Rookie card. Cody Ballinger. Whit Merrifield. I know Cody Ballinger was a big card a couple of years ago. I better organize these cards. I know there's like, hopefully baseball fanatics that watch this and I don't want them to be like, why are you disrespecting those cards? Just throwing them on top of each other. Um, Mike Voltzaweg. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, rookie card, I'm uh, not rookie card, um, like a parallel, Taylor Ward rookie card, Aaron Judge, that would have been an awesome autograph to get, he played basketball, wow, 6'7", yeah, I'd imagine that he would, man, that's too bad he didn't play, be interesting to see how he would uh, stack up, Brian Reynolds, Rookie, Jake, Cave, Rookie. Uh, I'll do a count after this, see how much. Uh, I don't want to bend these cards too much. Uh, Trey Mancini, Sean Reed Foley, Rookie, Cedric Mullins, Rookie. Master and Apprentice again. These are Tony Gwen, Manny Machado, Insert, Chris Davis, and let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Him himself, Manny Machado. That's an awesome photo. Drawing, sorry. Uh, Manny Machado, Jose Ramirez, Pedro Avila, Master and Apprentice, Mookie Betts, Ted Williams, Bryce Wilson, rookie card for the Braves. 
I really need to start following my Braves again. Um, Harold Ramirez rookie card, Josh James rookie card, Christian Yellick, Joey Votto insert, Heritage insert, uh, Yerder Molina again, Yerder Molina. I actually have his autograph as it, if it'll focus. Louis Severino, Hoskins, uh, Dakota Hudson, a rookie card. Master and Apprentice. Hank Aaron, Ronald Acuna Jr. And Josh Donaldson for the Braves again. And... Four, then I'll do the box topper. Jacob Nix, rookie. Bogertz. Uh, this guy again, rookie card. I think, no. Yastromensky. Somebody different. Rookie card. Nolan Ryan masterpiece. Enter. Jeff McNeil. A rookie card. Uh, three left. Shane Bieber. Sean Anderson. Wow, that looks like a photo. Uh, rookie card. Alex Bregman. Christy Matthew Matthewson Hall of Fame Miguel Cabrera the who is that Detroit Tigers it looks like All right two left then the box topper Josh Hader Aaron Judge cool card not numbered. Aaron Nola. Evan Longoria. Goria. And Trent Thornton. Rookie card. Steven Duggar. Goldschmidt. Nicholas Castellanos. El Eloy Jimenez or Jimenez. And last card, Heath Fillmire rookie card. And do the box topper. I think that was it. Um I don't know what to expect in here. It's just a really big card, right? I wonder if they give autographs in these. Yep, that's just a really big one. Otani. You know what's funny? I swear. Stuff works out in the, in the craziest way. Wasn't this the first card that I pulled after I shuffled all the cards? I shuffled all 20 packs. Um, and then I opened the first pack, and I swear he was the first card about or in the first pack, yeah. Isn't that crazy how stuff like that works out? It's like a magic trick in some way. Alright, so box topper. I'm just going to skim through the backs of these real quick. Uh, if you're going to turn off, thanks for watching. But uh, I'll go over the, the autographs in a little bit. Uh, I just want to make sure I didn't miss any numbered cards. And looking through the camera or the phone, 
hurts my eyes because it's not focused well. These were like the inserts. I'm just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't look like I did. Okay, those are fine. Don't really think you get much short prints. I mean, yeah, short prints, numbered short prints in rookie cards, but I'll still double check. Oh, I did miss one. Okay, Brian Reynolds. That focuses. 146 to 250. So that was another one. Um, okay, so that's them. And I really like, just because uh, I believe it's his dad, Fernando Tatis. Um... And then I'll have to double check this one. Daniel Ponce de Leon. 39 and 99. Anyways, I think these are about 68. It might be 60 or 80. I don't remember uh, if you find them. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.